Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda. I want to start off this video by saying A, I look disgusting, but I am totally okay with it. And B, I have an awful, awful migraine. So if it seems like I don't have energy or I'm, if I'm not in a good mood, I promise you that is not the case. I am extremely happy and doing great recently, like doing really great. Um, but for some reason, just, just woke up with this awful migraine. I always get them on the left side of my head, so it's just bad. So if it looks like I'm just kind of tired, that's why. <laughs> but I wanted to make this video for you guys today because I've been promising it for a while now. I'm going to be doing another Q&A video where I explain some of my advice and tips and I know I've been uploading a lot of these kind of videos but everyone's asking for them and continuing to ask questions so why not? I posted another video on my TikTok um, just asking you guys for questions and I got like a hundred so <laughs> I'm gonna try to answer as many as I possibly can. I want to also say I am about 15 subscribers away from a thousand. And when I started, well, restarted my YouTube channel at the beginning of this year in January, I remember sitting down in January saying, by my birthday, I wanna hit a thousand. And it's a crazy goal, but I think I can do it. And my birthday is two weeks away and I am only 15 subscribers away from a thousand. And it just took so much work to get here, but I am so excited. And I'm almost at 22,000 followers on TikTok, just in time for my 22nd birthday. So I'm feeling so grateful, you guys. I appreciate you so much. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your questions that you asked me and just all of your, just, kind wishes and support and i truly appreciate you so much i really 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 do so let's get into the video the first question comes from cassian provcassi sorry i'm so bad at saying names um she said how do you find auditions and what kind of role do you dream of acting i find my auditions through my agent starting off you can find your auditions in a different place and i kind of explain that in another video so click right here to find that video um my role that i dream of doing at some point would probably be i i think i answered this part too but i'll answer it again some sort of superhero movie that would be so cool or just to be yeah a superhero or someone with like superpowers that would be really cool the next question comes from Anonymous Twins who asks, what's one of the most important things to do before acting? The most important thing to do, I think, would just be to do your research and find out if you actually want to do it. Um, I say this a lot, but it is in no way glamorous. It is in no way easy. Um, you got to do your research because no one could do the research for you except for you. You need to make sure this is really what you want and you're not just getting into it for the fame or the money or anything because it will take years before you get to that level, if you even get to that level at all. I always say believe in yourself, but you also want to be realistic and make sure you're not just thinking you're going to be an overnight success because no one is. The best of the best did not become successful overnight no matter how much it seems like that they still put years and years of hard work into it so make sure you're doing your research planning out your future give yourself like a five-year plan uh, making sure you're financially stable enough to do this uh, make sure you're you're having as much of a thick skin as you possibly can chris evans side chick said do you have a favorite castmate i think you are referring to my horror film that i'm working on right now um we oh my gosh we are i don't even know if they're gonna watch this but you guys i think on every single film i work on i'm always like oh my god the cast is a family and like it's so true you know you become so close with those people and i'm always like the cast is a family the cast is a family but this this cast is not like a family this cast is a family we have been working hours on end overnight into the wee hours of the morning sometimes not leaving till 7 a.m um for like three weeks so obviously when you're spending that amount of time with people 
um, and working that hard with people, you know, you form a bond. And I did not know that our bond would be this amazing as it is, but I'm so grateful that the cast that this film has is the cast that it has because I think I've definitely made some lifelong friends. Um, I'm Alicia S. Now that you are acting in a horror movie, would you do it again? <laughs> this is a brilliant question. <laughs> Working overnight is crazy, but it's amazing madness. Like I wouldn't want it any other way. It's such a blast. So I'm not complaining about that at all. You know, like we get exhausted, but it's totally worth it. The part that I'm like, ooh, like, I told my mom the other night, I'm like, I think it's gonna be a little while before I work on another horror movie because we, for those of you who don't know, have been filming at locations that are, for me, I'm a very religious person. I don't mess with paranormal stuff and I don't even really like talking about it, but um, yeah, like I'm just too scared to even watch horror movies. So to be in one, um, it's very spooky. So to be where we are like overnight and yeah, it's scary. So I definitely am gonna want like a cleanse, like a spiritual cleanse, as crazy as it sounds for a while, because um, yeah, I don't mess with like haunted places. So to be in a haunted place for like three weeks straight. So yeah, I've just been like nonstop praying and yeah. Itachi Uchiha 888S, do you get overwhelmed sometimes? Absolutely. I, my anxiety, <sighs> um, yeah, I get overwhelmed even before acting or even like outside of acting, I get overwhelmed about these smallest, littlest things. So yes, I get overwhelmed insanely. I get overwhelmed about, you know, if I'm auditioning for something, I get overwhelmed about memorizing lines. I get overwhelmed about getting to set on time. I get overwhelmed about if my performance was good enough. I get overwhelmed about what people are gonna think about the project. I get I get overwhelmed about everything. Piano Panda asked, any agent recommendations? I've gotten this question a lot, and I think I answered it when I went live on TikTok. Um, agents depend on where you are. Um, they will differ. You know, I know big name agencies in Chicago, and I know big name agencies in LA, but as far as anywhere else, I have absolutely no idea. You have to do your research, you have to do your homework, you need to be studying up on the places around you. Charlie with a Q asks, uh, I have a question, how do you still get enough energy to film again even though you're up all night filming? I really hope you answer, you're my fave. You are my fave as well. <laughs> um, this is a great question, how do I get the energy? Well, I on average probably got home, get home each day so usually we we still get breaks you know like we're not working every single day um but a usual work week we probably i probably get home around i don't know 6 7 a.m and then i will sleep till about like 2 or 3 p.m so i'm usually getting about like seven hours on average but i'm waking up in the middle of the night just because it's so bright out uh, my body definitely had to get used to being nocturnal because I'm not used to that. You, usually I'm in bed by like 11 p.m. and wake up by like 9 or 8. So it's completely flipped. So my body definitely had to get used to that. Um, and I was still, you know, a zombie. I would wake up and I'd be like, I have no energy. But I've been living off of like monster drinks and Starbucks espresso, triple espresso, triple espresso shot drinks and... Uh, yeah, at oh my god, I'm so bad at this. At Athub Salvatore asks, Was this always your dream job? Uh, a million percent. I've explained this a lot, but ever since I was like five, I knew I wanted to do this. Um, throughout my entire childhood, creating and entertaining was my thing, that was my goal, that was my passion. Um, and I found out that you can make it a job when I was about 11, and I went for it, so I never wanted to do anything else. The A Schnapp asked, what's your favorite part about filming so far? My favorite part, hands down, is the people I'm working with. Um, like I said, we are just so close and I don't think I've laughed this hard in months. The next question comes from Lizzie525600. She said, advice for aspiring actors who don't have supportive parents. It, it's... <sighs> I mean, I could go on for hours. Um, I've told you guys millions of times, so many people didn't believe in me, no matter who they were, you know? Um, I don't think everyone in my life always believed in me, no matter what, especially when I was starting off. Um, it was a lot of, hmm, okay, and like, yeah, all right. And then when I would book something or I would, 
be nominated for something or I would travel somewhere and work with certain people, they'd be like, wow, I always believed in you. And you're like, no, you didn't, <laughs> you know, like it, it really takes for you to get successful to make them shut up. Um, but it's, it's the same thing I always say, you need to believe in yourself. If no one else believes in you, but you believe in yourself, you're set. You just need to believe in yourself. Hannah Banana 9 said, how did you get your first gig and what was it? <laughs> um, my very first, well, I've had, uh, my first like official like gig was an independent film called The School Paper. <laughs> I booked it in 2014. Um, so much fun. I'm still friends with the director of that, Ryan. We've worked on so many things together and he's brilliant, but um, it was my first, it was a short film. I booked it in 2014. We filmed it in 2015. I think it's still, it's somewhere. I don't know if it's on YouTube or something, but um, it was a film that brought awareness to bullying. And I got made fun of, I guess, not really like no one was mean, but just everyone found out about it at school and everyone was like, oh my God, there's Sarah from a school paper and everything. So that was fun. Um, but no, it was a really great experience. Great time on set. It was legit. Like it was just a short film, but it was legit. So for my first like thing to book, I was ecstatic. Uh, Esmeralda said, can people go to college or university for acting? Um, yeah, absolutely. That's what I am doing. I'm in college right now. Um, I'm doing a lot of my classes online and it is taking me a bit longer than usual, but everyone's at their own pace. The reason why it's taking me longer than usual is because my priority right now is my career and my career is acting. So I definitely cannot be living on a campus or away at a university um, while going to auditions or while still wanting to be on set. It's just there's, it's not possible. There's no time for that. Um, so I am doing my classes from home, almost like homeschooling college, and I'm still getting my degree. I'm just doing it more on my own time so that I have time to be working in my career. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be getting my degree. My ultimate goal is um, Master's in Fine Arts MFA. Um, right now I'm working on my Bachelor's of Fine Arts and yeah so absolutely you can go anywhere you want tons of places have um theater programs acting degrees film production um or just a overall fine arts degree like i'm getting all right guys i don't want to make this video too long so i might do it in two parts let me know if you would want a second part to this video i have tons more questions to answer i hope i answered your question um and i hope you enjoyed this video as always thank you guys so much for the support make sure to subscribe go subscribe now now Okay, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm so close to my goal of a thousand. My birthday's only two weeks away and I would love a thousand subscribers by my birthday. Make sure to go follow my TikTok so I can get to 22,000. Um, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Amanda Buse and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.